Hey guys, this is Mitch with FinePoint CGI, and today we're going to talk about making local push notifications for Android inside of Godot. So we're going to go through the process of setting up a custom Android plugin, which I will show you guys in a minute, and we're going to talk about how to compile your own Android binaries versus using the Android SDK, which is what we did in our previous video. So that's what I got in store for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now that we're in Godot, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up a custom build environment for Android. Now, Godot has made this really easy. What you can do is you can come up here to project and install an Android build template. So if you click on that, it'll tell you that there's a confirmation hey you need to you know you need to make sure that you you do this specifically right like you can't just do this willy-nilly right you need to know what you're doing so go ahead and click install and it'll go ahead and uncompress it and throw it into your project see here that uh it pops up right here so android plugins so that's exciting if you haven't seen my previous video of exporting to Android with Godot, I'm going to link it to the top and the little doobly do up top and in the description below. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. Make sure you run through that before you do this tutorial. But once we have this part done, go ahead and click on editor, editor settings. And then we need to come down to Android. And then we need to give it a custom SDK build path. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and click on our little um, file browser. And you can see that it's already kind of got an idea of where we want to go. But let's go ahead and open up a web browser here. Or not a web browser, a file explorer. And you'll see here's my file explorer. And what we'll do is we'll go to C uh, users, your name, app data, local uh, Android SDK and then we will go ahead and copy this let's go ahead and copy this paste it enter and then select that as your current folder so now you can go ahead and hit close and let's go ahead and quick quickly create a, a small 2d scene so let's add a button here so that way we have um, you know something that we can kind of see while we're playing around in this environment so what you should see is if you go to project export and you add in an android one you should see this currently now what you need to change is if you go into your options here and then you scroll down you should see use custom build make sure you check that now when you go ahead and export your project and I will just put it into my GitHub folder location. And I will call this my Android export demo project custom build. Oh my goodness, I can't spell. When you save it, you'll notice that here, it's actually building the Android project. So this is how you go ahead and add your own Android plugin. So you can add in all these different things where you could actually, you know, go and interface with Android directly. So if you wanted to create a small little JVM, right, that that uh, receives push notifications from a server, which I will create a video on that uh, sometime in the future, I'm sure. Um, but it allows you to do all these different things like adding ads, which again, I'm going to create a video on that as well. It's a really cool way to allow you to build your own custom Android applications using Godot. So I'm going to go ahead and let this download and run through. And uh, we will go from there. And make sure you allow access and, and stuff like that. So that way it can, it can do its thing. So I'll be back when it's done. Thanks. Okay, so now that it's finished. Uh, if I go out to my GitHub folder, which is right here, you will see that I have it android uh, custom build apk so if i go ahead and run this a second time just to kind of show you what it's going to look like this is how it's going to look every time you export but if you click export custom build yep i'll overwrite it you'll see it's going to come up with all these different tasks and stuff 
and it's going to download and install the Gradle add-ons and things like that that you're going to need every single time you want to build out an APK. So this is just something to keep in mind that you're going to see this every time you do your Android plugins and every time you do an Android build. So now what we're going to do is we will go out to get Dr. Morty um, native lib UI. So the reason why we're going to use this is because it's going to be easy for us to download and add native libraries for um, our iOS and Android and things like that. So what we'll do first is we're going to go click download and download a zip and go ahead and save it. I've already done that and go ahead and extract it. So once you download and extract it, you should have something kind of like this. So it should just have add-ons, native lib, and you should see a bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do is we will copy this add-ons folder here. So control C, go out to your project location. So in my case, it's documents, GitHub, and I believe I'm using my particle demos project for this. We'll go ahead and paste this in and you'll see that there's an add-ons uh, folder now. So now if we go back into Godot, what we can do is we can see if we go to our project, project settings, and our plugins, you'll see that we have this native lib here. So go ahead and enable that and close. Oh, it's got to think for a minute. All right, now once it's installed and closed, you can go ahead and click on native lib. Now you can see that mine already has been set up, but what you'll need to do, and I'll reset all of this for you to kind of take a look at it. So what you need to do is you need to click on select Python and you need to go find your Python instance. Now in my case, it was, C users, not public, uh, here, app data, local programs, which is programs, Python, Python, and then there's your Python executable. So you'll need to just copy this, minimize this, and then control A, control V, Python and then you can just select your Python executable right here so open and that'll select your Python and then you want to come down here and you want to click this uh, native nib or uh, native lib CLI utility click that it'll install your native lib and then click the repo button and it'll refresh all of these repos and then you'll want to make sure that you click this little button here and it will uh, enable Android support and if you click this it'll enable iOS support so if we scroll down here you'll see there's local notifications right here so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click install and you'll see that it's gonna take a few seconds but it's gonna go ahead and install it so you can see here if I click down on add-ons native or I'm sorry on Android you'll see if we actually open this file manager you'll see that there's a local notifications GDAP and a releases AAR. Now, what that means is now if we go into our project and we go into our export and click on our Android, you will see that there is a plugin for local notifications. So let's go ahead and turn that on. So you wanna make sure that you do this because if you don't, then your project won't work with notifications. So go ahead and click close. And then what we'll do is we'll click on our button. We're going to go on button up connect and I will call it uh, oh actually first I'm sorry we need to go ahead and add a, a script so we'll just call this main project controller and then what we'll do is we'll click on this button and we'll do a button up connect and then we're gonna call this on notification button button up and then what we're going to do is we need to first make sure that we have that binary available to us. So we'll do if engine dot has underscore single ton. And then what we're going to do is we'll type local notification. What that's going to do is it's going to tell it to say, hey, if this exists, if local notifications is available to the systems, then go ahead and send a local notification. 
So the reason why you want this is, is so that your system doesn't um, attempt to send a notification when um, the notification system isn't available. For instance, if you're on desktop or something like that. So what you need to do is you need to type var ln for local notification is equal to engine dot get singleton oh. local notification and then ln dot show local n o t i f local notification and then we're going to put test comma test body comma and then the time so we'll say two seconds comma one so what this is is it's the title the body the time it takes to um deploy that notification and then the um priority of that notification is the user going to be notified or is it just going to be silent kind of show up and not actively notify the user so and we will actually go ahead and comment this so this all right and unfortunately you don't get um syntax highlighting for these things because it's considered a singleton so it doesn't have that information but from here if you hit play, what's going to happen if I put a breakpoint here? If you go ahead and hit play, you click this, it's going to break here. And then if I scroll this down, you'll see that it passes without doing anything. Okay? So it doesn't do anything. The reason why is because the engine doesn't have that singleton loaded. You actually have to go into Android to click the button to do what you want it to do. So what you need to do is you need to go to export export project and make sure again that you have this plugin enabled if you don't have this plugin enabled it will not work so export project we will export out our demo project with custom build and you'll see that it's going to go ahead and load all of that stuff okay so now that's done what we can do is we can click on our start menu and go to android studio and we will go ahead and file Profiler debug, and we're going to double click our thing. We're going to just say create new and uh, update existing if we can. Let's see if it go ahead and lets us do that. All right, so now if we hit play, and remember, if you haven't set this up, you got to, uh, you can see here, this comes up. We get a little button, and if we click on it, We'll wait a few seconds and there's our notification now it looks like i got these flipped uh test body over test so it's actually this is test body and this is test my apologies first param is body second is title So as you can see, that's about it. Um, we went ahead and talked about how to do a custom Android build. We talked about native lib. We talked about how to add a Android notification and how to call it via a button. And again, that can be done just about anywhere in your code. I just used a button to make it easier for me to show off to you guys. Um, we talked about how to use an Android emulator a little bit. And we talked about making sure that your plugin is enabled when you're doing your builds so i want to thank you guys so much again for watching and if you like this video hit the like button if you dislike it go ahead and hit the dislike button because again i am here to make content for you guys and i want to make stuff that you guys enjoy so thank you again and i'll see you all next time thanks